Did you know that there is over 4,500 species of cockroach in the world? And here in Australia, we're home to 450 of them. But this one is the giant burrowing cockroach, and he is the biggest. And that's what we're going to be talking about today. So stick around, guys. Should be a good video. So giant burrowing cockroaches, which are also known as rhinoceros cockroaches and litter bugs, aren't just the biggest species of cockroach here in Australia. They're arguably the biggest species of cockroach in the world. Now, the reason I say arguably is there is a species of cockroach in Central and South America, which is a smidge longer, up to 10 centimetres in length, and has a wingspan of up to 18 centimetres. Now, it's hardly a fair competition because our ones don't have any wings. But these guys are the heaviest species of cockroach in the world, growing up over 40 grams in weight, which is pretty big for a cockroach. Now, when it comes to cockroaches, the first thing that comes to mind for most of you guys probably isn't warm fuzzy feelings, it's that they're a pest or they're a bit icky. And look, it's true, some cockroaches can be pests, but out of the 4,500 species of cockroach I said we've got before, only about 30 of them are known to live alongside people in any real capacity, and only four or five of them are actually capable of becoming pests. Mostly things like the German cockroach, the uh, American cockroach, and the Oriental or Australian cockroach as well. But the rest of them, they're all much more at home way out in the bush. In fact, these guys out in the bush, out in our forest and eucalypt ecosystems, play a really important role in the recycling of nutrients. They're really important animals. Now, what makes these guys so important is the fact that they eat this stuff eucalyptus leaves. Now, already there is not many animals in the Australian bush that can live off eucalyptus, even less that eat it the way these guys do. These guys don't like lush green leaves. They live almost entirely of dead eucalyptus. So they're eating something that could build up on the forest floor, doesn't really recycle any nutrients otherwise, it doesn't break down very well, and can produce a, a fire risk and things like this. So these guys are doing us a favour by eating this. But they don't just eat it on the surface. What they actually do is Due to their name, these guys live in burrows, and their burrows are up to three feet or one metre deep. And they actually take the gum leaves down to the bottom of their burrows, that's where they eat them. So they're taking these nutrients, bringing them down to where the plant roots are, and recycling them right where they need to be for the health of the forest. Now the reason they bring these leaves down into this burrow, one metre deep, is because this is where they keep their babies. And this is also pretty cool. You see, the giant burrowing cockroach doesn't lay eggs. It gives birth to live young, kind of. It sort of has eggs that hatch internally and they're born live. They have up to 30 babies uh, compared to the 150 or so that some of our sort of vermin cockroaches have. Uh, and those babies are born after a three month gestation but they will actually spend the next six months of their life in the burrow where they're safe, living off food that mum actually drags down for them. So these guys actually have a fairly significant degree of maternal care. They're probably some of the most devoted mothers of any insects, any invertebrates you're ever likely to find. Now, during this time in the burrow, these guys obviously have quite a bit of growing to do. They are, after all, the world's heaviest cockroach. But they do have a problem when it comes to growth. And that is, like all insects, these guys don't have an internal skeleton like you or I. They have an exoskeleton, which gives them a lot of protection, but it doesn't allow for much growth. Now, this exoskeleton is made of something called chitin, which is actually a carbohydrate. It's the second most common carbohydrate on Earth after cellulose, which makes up trees. But these guys have to periodically shed that exoskeleton when it gets too tight to allow for them to keep growing. Being the recyclers these guys are, however, they're not going to let that go to waste. They actually eat their exoskeleton as they shed, put it into more growth, so that they can grow into the monsters that these guys really are. So where in Australia are actually likely to find these little invertebrate recycling battle tanks? Well, this species has a range of about a thousand kilometres. They go from Rockhampton in the south, in central Queensland, all the way north to about Cooktown, up north of Cairns. On the west, they're found into central Queensland, where it's fairly dry, savannah-type country. And in the east, they push all the way out to the Whitsunday Islands and places like Magnetic Island, which is fairly tropical places as well. So a fairly diverse range of habitats. They are dependent on specific types of soil. They need places where they can make those burrows. So they're found in a patch here, a patch there. They don't have a big, continuous distribution, but they're found over a fairly significant chunk of Queensland. So there you have it, guys. A close-up look at the world's heaviest species of cockroach. Now, as I said, I don't expect everybody to get warm, fuzzy feelings thinking about cockroaches, but these guys, they don't deserve to be tarred with the same brush as the fellas that are in your pantry or in your house, things like this. They're amazing animals. They don't want to be near us. They want to be out in the bush uh, doing their important role in nutrient recycling and things like that. 
They're really cool animals. And I hope you've enjoyed learning about them today. Now, if you haven't already, guys, please subscribe to the YouTube channel, follow us on Facebook. And if you want to help our videos come out more regularly, help us visit some friends we've got planned interstate to show some of their animals, consider supporting us on Patreon. Our Patreons have a wonderful community on Facebook and uh, their support goes a long way towards helping our channel grow and get these videos out to you. But other than that, guys, thank you very much for listening this long. I hope you've enjoyed learning about the giant burrowing cockroach. Uh, other than that, guys, I'll see you back next time. Have a good one. Be nice to animals. Take care.